the metal building is up. So uh, basically, uh, it took about three days for it to be installed by the company that came out to install it. And I uh, did a time lapse of each one of those days. Uh, the first day was more the frame, second day was more the, uh, the metal on the outside, the panels. And then on the third day, they came back and just kind of finished cutting out the holes for the uh, doors and windows and so forth. I think they also put the roof on the third day also. So I'll go ahead and show you a brief time lapse and knock that down to about five minutes. And then after that, I'll show you how it looks inside. So this is the completed 40 by 60 metal building that we just had to complete the setup. So we went with the a blue and then the gray on the trim and also the trim at the top there and the roof is gray also. So this is 
the end here and looking at the side over here. And we already installed installing some of the windows and doors. Hopefully will be done this weekend. And this is a 12 foot sidewall here. Basically it's supposed to be 12 feet from the bottom there up to the top. A couple of things we liked about the way this company sets theirs up is down here at the bottom. You can see that overlaps the the concrete. So any rain that drips down like you can see here, almost no chance of that really going under the edge between the concrete and the middle railing at the bottom. As you can see, we've had some rain since this has been up here. You can still see the chalk lines, gives you an idea how, how, how recent it's been since this was put up here. And this is the back side over here. Still in the process of putting this window up. This is the last window. I'm going to take it back out. I'll do a separate video about how we did these. These were actually new construction windows. Uh, we had to adapt to fit this. And this is where the back door is going to be. It's going to be a French door in the back here. All right, we'll go ahead and head on inside. So this is the inside. One of the things that really impressed me on this design, and I'm assuming because we told them we were doing permits, they did an engineered metal building or an architectural kind of upgrade is the support beams. You can see normally this would just be like a single beam here, or maybe it would be two of these small beams on top of each other. This one actually has the separated beams with a horizontal piece here, like a ladder beam. It's also some called lattice work. Doing a little bit of research, apparently the ladder, ladder, not the lattice, is the stronger, the one that we got here. That goes all the way up there. And then it goes across. And we got these. Same thing with the double supports going all the way across and then all the way down on the other side there. Of course the end walls are still a single beam there on this. But obviously that's not holding the weight of the building or any kind of snow load there. Now the to do the supports down here and that the further away from there. So one thing we were not expecting was the, the placement of these. But for one, this obviously is a bit thicker. So if we ever if we ever decide to do anything in here, like a any kind of interior wall or something down the road, um, we have to keep this in mind. Build something maybe in between it or something or in front of it. We'll see if that ever, we ever decide doing anything like that. And also the these beams were only four feet apart. I was really surprised about that. So we had to adjust our window placement on some of these areas. I mean, they couldn't put a window right in the middle of a beam, <laughs> obviously. So there were some adjustments on that. Now they did allow an accommodation like over here of course they we one of these as close as possible so there may be like a 12 inch gap between the two there on that but one accommodation was for the bigger door they did have to fabric fabricate this extra support going across as you can see there then that goes down on the double rail here the double rail going down. So basically that allowed that to hold still hold the weight. And we still got the supports coming down from the ceiling 
on top of that there. And one thing is a little confusing, I'm not too sure what the logic is on this, but you can see, so here we have the beam, a beam going up, the double beam. And when it gets up to the top, you have those little horizontal rails up there. Now, I know what this is. Obviously, that's where the metal attaches to. The panels on the outside. There's even one of those at the top, too. But then on the inside area, there's two more up there. I guess maybe that helps with stability, I guess. I'm not sure on that. And of course, these diagonal supports on each pole also. So that's the basic design as a whole on the inside. And this end panel, of course, is the same as the other one. It's the same style there. And we're inside here in the corner, so you can get a perspective of the overall size of everything here. Now you do see some rain in here. It has rained recently, but this is rain that was already left over from previous before it was raining on the last day before they put the roof up. And also a little bit coming in from the door there too. So at least we don't see any wet areas or any drips on the ground here. So, so we're really happy about that on that part. So the next couple things is we want to be finishing the windows. Um, the one window and also uh, sealing the round the around the area in addition to that we're going to be putting the doors in and then we were going to be doing a professional install on the electrical that quote for a panel a 200 watt panel and was going to be uh, for a 200 amper panel yeah 200 watt <laughs> 200 amp pan panel and um, was going to, and just like one outlet and a couple of light switches, light fixtures on both doors and one overhead and one going to the stump pump. Um, yeah, I know mean, people got to make a living, but it was originally we were told, you know, 2,500, 3,000, and they ended up coming back with $4,300 quote. So with the cost of the concrete doubling, uh, we are going to be, uh, I will be attempting to go ahead and install that myself. I already called the county, getting the proper permit for that. And we'll see if we can get lucky and pass that first time. Been doing a lot of research on the proper method for that. So I'll do a separate video on that later, show you what I did, and we'll see if that passes. And if not, what needs to be done to get that passing. So the, uh, with the next video we're going to release, we'll be talking about the windows kind of, and because um, those were new construction, but which was the cheapest type of window to put in this building. And we were really concerned about that, but it wasn't as bad as we thought it would be. So that's pretty easy. We'll talk about that later. All right, thanks again for watching. I'll keep you updated.